I was originally inspired to do the trip by the possibility I have as a school teacher. I have this wonderful eight week summer holiday and I knew with a flying bike adventure like this I'd be at the mercy of the weather and I thought I need a decent period of time, perhaps a month, in order to do this trip. Cordial viewers, hello and welcome to Golden Age Technology on Supreme Master Television. Today we visit England to meet an extraordinary man who undertook a fantastic journey spanning the length of the United Kingdom on a flight or flying bicycle. John Carver is just an everyday Englishman, a 37-year-old information technology teacher at Cotswold House School in Oxford with a passion for flying. He is diabetic and was looking for a way to support research seeking a cure for childhood diabetes. Mr. Carver then came up with a unique fundraising idea, a venture that had never been attempted before on a flag. He decided to fly and ride his three-wheeled flying bicycle the entire length of the United Kingdom, from the south of England to the northern tip of Scotland. I love flying. I've been flying this thing for about six years, and I've always loved flying. And I thought, what a very exciting adventure to combine flying and bicycling and most importantly to raise some money for charity which is something I'd never really done before in a big project and this is such an unusual machine that I thought would be a great opportunity for me to raise some funds for a charity that was close to me. His journey and eventual accomplishment of his goal earned him worldwide media attention and inspired the enthusiastic support of the public. He thus was able to raise over £17,000 for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, a non-profit organization whose chief mission is to find a cure for type 1 diabetes. The foundation is the number one charitable funder of diabetes research globally. The charity that I was raising money for is called the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, the JDRF. And basically, in a nutshell, what they do is they research um, ways to cure diabetes in children. Since I was six, I've been a, a diabetic myself, type 1. So I've been jabbing myself with insulin uh, four or five times a day and doing all of the routine of blood testing for over 30 years now. And so I remember what it was like as a kid and, and all of the difficulties and the challenges. And I would feel it would be great to put something back in and to help in the pursuit of a cure, which would really make life so much easier for these youngsters that do suffer this disease. Mr. Carver's flight was designed in Germany by a company called Fresh Breeze and is one of only two in the United Kingdom. It is essentially a three-wheeled bike equipped with a 300cc two-stroke engine along with a propeller and a large parachute that looks like the flag of the United Kingdom or the Union Jack. Mr. Carver now explains the flight in more detail. So this is the flight, the flying bike, and it's basically it's three parts to it. Um, we've got the trike here, which is a uh, three wheel, and on the front I've got 14 gears, and I can pedal this thing quite happily on the road and whiz around and go about 20 miles an hour on the flat, which is great. On the back, we've got the motor, and this detaches from the trike. This can be worn on the back, actually. And uh, this motor is basically just a big lawnmower engine. Instead of a, a lawnmower blade, it's got two propellers, and they push me forward like a hovercraft. And on the ground, I can go about 40 miles an hour. That's a lot of fun. It's like a go-kart. And the third bit is not actually on view here, but you'll see it on the video, is the parachute, which attaches to these carabiners here. And I trust my life to these things, so I hope these are secure. And basically, the parachute lines go in there, like that. And you'll find that as, basically, I power forward, the parachute gets inflated behind me on the grass, comes up overhead, and is shaped like a wing. And as long as I'm going forward at about 20 miles an hour, I'll start to lift and I take off. And I can fly to about 10,000 feet, which is high enough. And I get very chilly up there. This tank of fuel here is 15 litres and I can fly for about two hours on that before I need to land in a field and fill up with petrol. How does Mr. Carver keep control of the flight when in the air? 
my controls are, are nice and simple. When I'm flying, I'm actually holding on to two brake lines behind me here. And as I pull right hand, I'll turn to the right. As I pull left hand down, I turn to the left. That's my steering. And the only other control I'm in charge with here is the throttle. After this brief message, we'll hear of some of the challenges Mr. Carver experienced on his 1,475 kilometer journey spanning the length of the United Kingdom. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television.